to your barber or your hairstylist, they may have something different for you that is something that's kind of um, less harmful for the face. So, hey, Pamela, how are you? So, um, yeah, try out just for men. I mean, of course, this would be for the men. Ladies, I hope you guys, you ladies are not trying to color your facial hair. We bleach it, but we really don't color it. So, <laughs> okay. So, and I had a couple of questions that are not pertaining to hair, but they are pertaining to a stylist, um, to stylists in particular. So, again, stylists, if you guys have, um, if you guys want to join in on this, then, you know, join in. Because I would love to hear what you guys and how you guys feel about this as well. So, um, one of the questions was, why does stylists book multiple people at the same time? Okay. <laughs> I'm not somebody who actually does this. Um, I don't um, really uh, care for the booking of multiple people at the same time. But um, stylists, some stylists have booked multiple people at the same time. Uh, maybe because they are trying to get everyone in and everyone out at the same time. Um, I've studied the whole method of what what um, service takes how long, and you know, if I'm getting a haircut, it should take 30 minutes. If I'm doing a washing style, it should take 60. So I've studied the the time frames for this, and it's actually so much easier if you just give people a time frame to be there and you should be able to overlap maybe two maybe three people at a time but any more than that somebody's going to be sitting for uh longer than they should so i'm very particular about time so most of my clients actually all of my clients know that we don't play with time and we do not sit around so that that's you know if i have any more stylists who, who do that go ahead and chime in and tell us why you do that i'm not um, I'm not downing you for it, but you know, just go ahead and tell us why, give us your suggestion of why you do. So, uh, <laughs> the next, uh, question was what qualifies as what, what qualifies a client to be able to skip in front of another client? Now we don't do that at, at my salon. We don't, we don't do that here, <laughs> but, um, that should not be, I, I don't think that there is a, a reason to do that. But I would say in the past when people are doing that, it will probably be a money thing or a status issue. So um, all of my clients are treated as royalty, as royalty and celebrities because they are. And um, I do not do skipping because someone or I feel someone is more important than the other. So um Again, if I have stylists on here who, who do that, you know, go ahead and explain to us why do you do that and is it okay? Uh, I have had instances where someone was in a rush and they came in, they were like, hey, I just need a couple of curls. I got caught in the rain or something like that. And I do ask the person in my chair, is it okay with you if this person, if I spend five minutes on this person? So I've had that happen before and I always ask the person who I am working on, the person who had a scheduled appointment if it is okay so I don't just move people around because I think that somebody's more important than somebody else I don't do that so you know um, ask your stylist why she does that if she's doing that that's I don't think that that's fair so <laughs> and lastly um, what do I use for my edges the most common a uh, question that we get all the time, uh, what to use for my edges. Um, again, everybody's edges, everybody's hair texture is different. So if you have a tighter hair, I would say 4C and tighter, you will want to use something that's a little bit more heavier. I'm gonna grab two of the edge controls that I'm gonna show you. Um, this one is one of my favorites. I use this actually for braiding and I also use this for um, hair that is um, tighter curled hair. So, so we'll say 4C and tighter. Um, but this is, it, it, is it, it is an extreme hold. It's more of a, a wax. 
So um, it's gonna lay it down. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the stronger the hair, then uh, the more that I, I feel like this is gonna work. It's gonna work better. So, and then this consistency is a wax, if you guys can see that. So this is a thick wax. So if you don't want, if you don't like the feeling of having edge control on, then don't use this because that one is thick. Um, it's going to lay everything down. It'll lay your eyebrows down <laughs> if you want it to. So, and I'm going to show you another one. So, um, if you have um, lighter, well, I'm not going to say lighter curls, but um, I'm going to say if you have a curl pattern that it's a little bit more looser, so you can even try this as, if it's 4C. Now, like again, like I said, you know, 4C hair doesn't mean that every 4C hair is going to be the same, but this one is more of a, almost like a jam. You see that? It's kind of like jelly-ish. So it's, it's it's lighter. Now it will hold down thicker hair, but um, maybe not as long. So these are the different um, edge controls that we use and you just find the one that's best for you. So we do have a question, let me see. Oh, and let me just say which one. This is uh, Murray's Edge Control Extreme Wax, Extreme Hold. And then this one is Touchdown Edge uh, Tamer. And this is the ultimate touch. This is like a medium hold. Um, she says, how safe is it for women to put a rinse on their hair? Um, oh, a rinse on their eyebrows. If putting a rinse color on their hair. Okay, so... Um, Let's see. Okay, so a rinse. It may stain the eyebrows for um, for a small period of time. But as you know, your eyebrow hair is different from your hair, um, the hair that is on top of your head. This hair is actually more coarse and a little bit uh, tougher to penetrate when you're doing color. So, um, Actually, I don't know if this is um, totally uh, correct, but I would say this is what I would do, okay? Um, well, I'm a stylist, so I do have colored, um, I do have uh, eyebrow color for my clients when they come to visit me. But if you're doing it yourself, I know it's a man on the front, but the hair texture of your eyebrow is about the same as the hair texture on men's facial beards. So all of this hair, you know, facial hair, it's all about the same texture. So go ahead and grab you some just for men. Try this out. It actually, it'll work better than a rinse because a rinse is just more topical and it's not gonna penetrate as, as deep, but um, you get something that's a little bit more, it's gonna penetrate a little bit, a little deeper than, you know, try your just for men. Um, Let's see, and it won't hurt. So if you go ahead and, and do the rinse, go. It, it won't hurt at all. So just make sure you don't get it in your eyes, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then make sure you don't have an allergy to it. So if you want to um, kind of do a test, you can take the inner part of your, your um, arm right here. This is a sensitive area. You can put a little bit of that color right here just to kind of see if you're gonna have an allergy to it put on here or you can use the back of your ear this is a sensitive area as well so these are little tricks that we use as professionals to kind of test color on people to see if they're going to have a reaction so if, if that's what if that was the question if you're um, nervous about a reaction then test it there so I think I took a lot longer than I was supposed to take so um, I believe I answered everybody's question i have again you guys if you have more questions feel free text um text email them to me type them in the little chat box and i will be sure to get back with you but this is our q a for today that probably that seemed like it was like 15 questions it's more like 10 questions but if you have more and then stylus if you have um if you're watching this at a different time if you have answers type them in 
we love to hear different um, opinions. You know, not all of us have the same opinion. So type your um, answers into the questions that I gave you today. And we will see you next week. Next week, I'll be at um, my home location. And we will just come. We will be here at ANK Beauty Store, um, ANK Beauty Supply Store every other week or twice a month. So thank you guys for joining us. I'm Natasha Lynn. And I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Peace.